Hello guys, in this video we're gonna be going over probably one of the most insane things I have ever built and I'm super excited to show you guys. I've built a entirely locally hosted, completely free except for a few subscriptions here, um, Instagram DM bot that is using Olama to essentially respond to all my DMs. In the future, we're gonna set this up for my email and for a bunch of other stuff. But for now, essentially uh, we're gonna be going over this. And so keep in mind, go ahead and take like the transcription of this call use it with AI, a cloud AI to help you learn local AI. We have a video called uh, the Grok video that essentially goes over how. So make sure you do consolidate. If I do miss anything, I'm gonna try not to, okay? But we are going to require for this workflow, uh, one, a ManyChat account. This is gonna be where all of our DMs are gonna be coming in automatically, and we're gonna be triggering a webhook out to N8N. And then we're gonna need N8N, right? And this is gonna be where we're catching that webhook. We're using our local AI to then generate a response and send that webhook back. We're also going to need uh, potentially, and as you can see right here, someone just DM me and it's using it right now. Uh, we're also going to need ManyChat Consultant GPT to help you out with anything. And then we're also gonna need Olama. And for this video specifically, I've found that the best right now for these DMs is gonna be the brand new Gemma 3 12 Bill QAT. So as you can see right here, um, it's like it's pretty much the best version of the 12B, but quantized in a different way. So it is very scalable. And I tested this on the 27 bill QAT versus the 12 bill QAT, and the 12 bill QAT was so much better. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make sure you install Olama uh, Gemma 3 12 bill I uh, T QAT. If you do not have this, it can't fit. I would maybe go with let's see here. Um, I would probably go with the four bill ITQAT. Okay. And so you're going to want to go ahead and run that in your terminal and go ahead and uh, pull that AI model. Okay. So then the next thing that we're going to want to do is we are going to want to, uh, go ahead and clone this exact NADN workflow. So I'm going to give you guys the JSON template of this exact workflow that you guys can copy. It's very simple. We're actually not even adding any tools because this is client facing. We really don't want any tools. Um, but as you can see right here, we have Olama connected. And this took me a while to figure out, as you can see, 14 Olama accounts. And this might take you a little bit too. It took me like five hours to do this, uh, but hopefully I can fit this into like just an hour for you guys. Um, but as you can see right here, it has my exact Gemma 3 12 bill uh, QAT model in here under Olama, okay? But in order to connect our Olama account, it has this base URL, which for me did not work. And um, if you're using NADN locally as well, it's an HTTPS essentially. So um, that ManyChat requires, so you can't really use like an HTTP because ManyChat requires the webhook to be an HTTPS. So we can't really use a local hosted um, URL in terms of, I know this is getting a little confusing, but at least like if you're running NADN locally, your webhook is gonna say HTTP and your webhook isn't gonna be able to take that from ManyChat. So we have to use the cloud version, as far as I'm concerned, of N8N, but we can use our local uh, server for Olama. In order to get your locally hosted Olama that you have on your computer to have an API gateway, essentially, um, that is going to connect to your NADN cloud, you need this ngrok. And as you can see here in my terminal, it's kind of running this ngrok. So essentially what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to serve the Olama model in one terminal. As you can see, every time a DM comes in, it's like processing them here inside of this Olama serve um, part right here, which it looks like my command line, you can feel free to pause this. Uh, it looks like this and you can also, like I said, go ahead and make sure you're using AI for this because I like vibe coded this whole thing. Okay, so once it's actually set up and I can't show it fully here because you wanna make sure this is private, it's kind of like an API key, you don't want people to get access to it, right? Um, this is right here, the terminal running ngrok. So I have the Olama serve running in one terminal, then the ngrok running in the other terminal, and I can actually grab the link from either it was this link right here, the web interface, or it was the forwarding link right here. You're gonna have to try out both. Um, and I was able to then go in to Olama and create a new credential and paste that link or URL in here and it showed me all of my models now. So at this point, you should have that Olama model running that we just set up and you should have ngrok and you should serve that Olama model and you should create an ngrok 
kind of router for your local LLM in order to host it locally. Now you will see your RAM usage go up here because of the fact that it's loading the models and the weights of the LLM itself. And it's just constantly running the weights of it on your server. So it's gonna use a decent amount just to host it. But the thing is when someone goes in and uses it, it doesn't like necessarily jump by 20 gigabytes, right? Like it usually would using Olama. It just stays at that current rate and it goes up like a few gigabytes per request. So you do wanna make sure that it's a smaller model as well, because it took me like two hours of refining this. I used the 27 bill model and the workflow wouldn't work because it was taking too long to generate the text. So it's gotta be a fast model in order for ManyChat to recognize in order to update the necessary value in ManyChat. But as you guys can see here, you should also copy this exact N8N template. And now you will uh, essentially connect your NGROC server to Olama chat right here and to this. Okay, so from here, this is the most important part. This is the what took me like a few hours in many chat. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set up a trigger because there's no trigger for all DMs. So this is a little smart here, right? So we have if a message contains every single vowel, A, E, I, O, U. So every message is going to have a vowel in it. And if it doesn't, question mark, exclamation mark, comma, parenthesis, period. So every single message is going to trigger this workflow essentially, right? And then what's gonna happen next, this is very important. You need to go into your settings and you need to create a user field called last reply. And you need to do an action of clear user field. This is gonna clear it before it then sends the request and auto populates it back into this. This is what is gonna allow it to go from N8N's output from Olama and then add a custom value to contact. And then literally we're just sending a message of the custom value of the response, right? So it's very simple, but it did take me a little bit of time to refine this. So this is gonna be perfect for you guys. The next thing, this is the hardest part right here. So you're gonna to need to do an action for an external request to an HTTP. So essentially a webhook. And inside of this, you are going to need to go into N8N and under your webhook trigger, there are gonna be two links, a test link and a product uh, link. So you're gonna to wanna to, for when you're testing it in N8N, you're gonna to want to essentially use the test URL, and then you're gonna to wanna to turn on the test in N8N uh, of the trigger, and you're gonna to wanna to run a test contact through this. This is gonna give you the values necessary to build the workflow. After you build the workflow with the test, then you switch out the URL for the product workflow or the product URL uh, you will see in the trigger in N8N two different ones, a test and a product one. So uh, that is exactly, you're gonna use the test one first. It's gonna be a post webhook and your headers are gonna be content type, application JSON. Your body is just gonna be add full contact data right here. Your response, um, you will essentially see when you're testing this, you won't see it come through here, right? But you will wanna do this exactly as written or it will not work. Uh, dollar sign, period, output, uh, last reply. So this is gonna take the output from the webhook in N8N and add it as a custom value to last reply. So once you do that and you test it with N8N, you're gonna switch that URL to the product production one and you're gonna go ahead and save this. Now, the next thing that we're gonna have, and I'm gonna show you guys back inside of N8N here in a second um, that is required for this external request to work as well, we have a smart delay of 20 seconds. This is necessary, and I tested this from 10 to five to 15, all the way up, 20 seconds is necessary to give it enough time to bring it back from the AI model and auto-populate that field. Then we don't want to send blank messages. So we're gonna do a condition and say, if last reply isn't empty, okay? So if it isn't empty, then that means it is successfully updated from the N8N response from Olama. And it's just gonna send a message very simple with just last reply. This isn't doing like follow-ups, but it is gonna just keep going back and forth, back and forth, right? Um, right now, I don't have anything for if it doesn't match, but guys, this is very simple. So let's hop back into N8N to show you guys how the end of the webhook actually works itself. All right, so inside of N8N, the very important thing is that here's the test URL I was talking about that you test it with. Here's the production URL. It needs to be exactly as shown right here. Um, and then right here, the send response, we need this JSON body to be exactly this literally exactly this, json.stringify, json output right here. This is gonna essentially <coughs> send that response back into that custom field. So it needs to be exactly as shown there. I will leave the exact code to that 
down below as well. We're just doing normal N8N -N memory. Obviously, in the future, uh, you know, keeping everything private and secure, we'll probably want to do our own. But this is just kind of finding a minimal viable product here. So now, literally, what we have is we have Ngrok running our server. We have Olama with that really good model. We have ManyChat taking in DMs from every single vowel or pronunciation, and then uh, or grammar. I'm not sure what the word is. Sorry. And then from there, it's web hooking it out and then setting it back into that custom field, right? So I will say I watched a video of somebody else trying to build this and he did a horrible job of explaining it and he was just trying to sell his template. So um, I will say if you do duplicate this exact thing, you should not have much of any issues literally duplicating this exact thing. Um, it's just very important that you test that external request properly and then this thing is going to completely work for you. Now you should see these responses. This is how you will know it is working. Because if someone says something, this guy said end of the month for me, boom, custom field changed, last reply, previous value was deleted, right? New value, response from the LLM. I keep it very short and concise. You can also see my system prompt. I would copy it exactly as well. Then you see it's automatically sending it back. And then uh, boom, the country is in Luke, is that hard? Really want to learn about LLM stuff, boom. Yo, glad to hear you're vibing with the LLM stuff. Boom, right? So then we have Kevin here. Kevin, he was going crazy with this. Look, uh, and any then you're using Olama as like a really hard question. Yeah, pretty much nailed it. Olama is the core running locally. Boom, right? Uh, 100%. I could say nurtured. Well done. I appreciate that. It's all about finding the right balance. Olama's on that G shit then. Um, this video. And then he said, hey, did you cut off your message? Yeah, so right now the only thing is if someone sends multiple DMs, it's a little broken. So I'm going to need your guys' help on like getting it to still work and have like a wait period if a, like a Olama request is happening. But imagine this, guys. If two people DM me at the same time, it's not going to use like double the hardware. It's going to one by one go. So this is very scalable. And the point here is... My M3 Ultra has 96 gigabytes, so I could theoretically 24-7 at 70% of my RAM usage with like no like fault or hurt to my device, I could run this for years. I could set up multiple NADN integrations, responding to DMs, comments, emails, and it's not going to hurt my computer to literally run this 24-7. So if you guys are wondering why one would do this, well, think about this. Thousands of requests, no API charges and credits. I can fine tune these models. It's safe and secure and private. And I would also watch my other video as well on essentially, you know, cloud versus local and the realizations that I had with this. But I think that this is absolutely insane. I'm going to be setting this up for comments. I'm going to be setting it up for as much as possible, trying to identify these use cases. Um, but yeah, just know that, you know, these are all important assets I'm going to leave down below. Hopefully you guys were able to go through this and understand how this works. Um, make sure to comment and let us know or share a video of kind of how it's working for you.